cleaning equipment. They say a clean gear will function better and also last longer, and I strongly believe that's true. As a photographer, when you're starting out or if you've been doing photography for a period of time, there will be instances where you're confused on what equipment you should buy and when you should buy said equipment. In this video, I will be explaining what equipment you need to buy and when you need to buy such equipment, whether they're important essential equipment or just some tiny little stuff you need to enhance your photography skill and your photography workflow. I'm Siobhan Beckford, welcome back to the channel if you're a returning subscriber. Welcome to the channel if you're a new viewer. Let's dive right into this one Siobhan Beckford style. If you search up gears needed for photography right now on YouTube, you will see a bunch of videos talking about the lens you need, or you need this camera, or you need this flash, you need this lighting, yada, yada, yada. Now, the first thing I will be talking about is this little thing I got to house all my SD cards, whether it is my micro SD cards for my drone or my regular SD cards for my camera, because I was tired of going onto shoots and putting the cards in my bag and don't remember where in my bag I placed them. And I was shuffling all about in my bag to get a card to put into the camera or I come back, want to edit my photos or videos and put my card on my desk and then they get misplaced, lost or something. With this little gizmo right here, it may be simple and it's very cheap. Link will be in the description. I can keep all my cards in one place, whether I'm editing or I am transporting myself to a shoot. So this little card holding thingy majiggy. Moving right along. Another important piece of gear that I found myself using very often, most of the time it is for videos, but I use it quite a lot for photography as well, is this this white balance card. Now this card has a gray side and a white side to capture the correct white balance whenever you're shooting photos or videos. Sometimes you take photos or videos and you go back to edit and it's maybe too yellow in the temperature, too orange in the tint and you just have to sit and take time to correct the white balance when you could have do it yourself from the get-go properly with this card right here or you switch the auto white balance and the white balance is different between each photo. With this thing you set your white balance manually and that's it and it's pretty accurate. For my Lumix I use the grey side, hold it up, point it at the camera, take a photo and that's it. And it is very affordable. I think I paid less than $10 for this. I will also leave a link to this in the description. Yeah, white balance capture thingy, whatever it's called. Moving right along. Next on the list is lens filters. Now, every photographer and videographer has to have an experience of when they went out in the field and wanted to capture some photos or videos with using a very wide aperture and you know your ISO is at 100 and your shutter speed is about 600, 500, 400 but the image was still overexposed and even though you don't want to turn up your shutter speed to a thousand or something you had to because it was overexposed. This is where an ND filter comes into place. This helps you to adjust the amount of light passing into your lens and onto the sensor instead of fiddling with your settings on your camera. Now this is a five stop variable ND filter from KNF Concept and it also has a CPL filter built into the ND filter which is pretty neat so it's two in one. What a CPL filter does is it blocks glares and reflections in water, eyeglass, car windscreen, windows so this helps 
to reduce the amount of light coming into my lens and also helps to reduce reflection from reflective surfaces. So this is a two-in-one. You have variable ND filters, you have flat filt ND filters, and you have separate CPL filters. You also have UV filters, so on and so forth. On this lens that I'm shooting currently, I have a diffusion filter attached, a one over four diffusion filter, which gives my video a little bloom and kind of soften it up so it doesn't look too sharp and digital. So it, it has a more welcoming and warm feeling. So as a photographer and a videographer, which makes content for social media, invest in some filters. They will help you out a lot. And the price varies. I will leave a link to this CPL and ND filter 2-in-1 from KNF Concept in the description and also for this, my diffusion filter from KNF Concept as well in the description. Let's move right along. And since we're on the topic of filters, these are step up rings. So instead of buying the exact diameter for your lens, what you can do is buy step up rings. So you buy the largest filter available in the sense that you buy a big lens and want to put the biggest filter on it and buy step up rings so you can adapt that huge filter onto your smaller diameter lens. So that's what I did. I bought the 82 millimeter filters. All my filters are 82 millimeter and buy step up rings to step up from the diameter of my lens to house that 82 millimeter diameter filter. And what these little things will do is cost you way less than buying multiple filters for your lenses and just buy these $10 metal step up rings and the one filter can be used throughout your entire lens arsenal. Very affordable and very effective. Moving right along. Cleaning equipment. Now, they say a clean gear will function better and also last longer, and I strongly believe that's true. A cleaner lens will take cleaner photos. A clean sensor will record and take cleaner photos as well. So keeping your equipment clean will allow them to last longer and also keep dust and dirt from affecting the footage coming from your equipment. Now, this is a camera and equipment cleaning kit I got here. This is from Decophoto. I'll leave a link to this cleaning kit in the description. I use this to clean my lens and also my camera and my laptop. And this over here, this is a sensor and lens cleaning kit as well. Now, sensor cleaning is very delicate. It takes professional, but I use this kit to clean my sensor whenever there's dust or particles on it. It's a very rare process. I hardly do it. And yeah, keep your equipment clean. Microfiber cloth. Now these are from KNF Concept and these are sealed in a plastic wrapper so there won't be any dust on them. So you can pull these out, clean your camera, clean your sensor, clean your lenses and keep them for a second use or throw them away. So invest in cleaning equipment so you can keep your equipment clean, can last longer, prevent damage. We know dust and camera equipment don't go well together. So invest in some cleaning tools to keep your equipment clean and tidy to prevent damages. Moving right along. And last but not least on the list, we have SD card and micro SD card readers. Now, have you ever been in a situation where you want to get some photos from your SD card onto your phone or your laptop in a pinch if you don't have an SD card slot on your device? These will help you out a ton. This one right here is a SD card to USB-A adapter and this one is an SD card to USB Type-C adapter. You can also get this for the Lightning port for your iPhones. I use Android so what I do, I just get my SD card right here. It uses micro and regular SD card, you can see. Plug it in right here like this and I get my phone and I plug it into my phone like this. 
and it will pop up on the phone that there's a USB device detected and you just get your photos from your phone if you want to share to social media or with someone or if you want to view them on your phone or show your client from your phone instead of from the tiny camera screen. So SD card readers, they're small, tiny, maybe ignored, but they can be quite useful. These tiny tools can help to enhance your photography workflow a ton. Don't underestimate them, trust me. I'm Siobhan Beckford and if you found this video helpful, feel free to hit the subscribe button and also the like button so the algorithm can like me some more. And also if you want to see more videos like these about photography and also video production, hit the subscribe button so you can never miss an upload. Siobhan Beckford, signing out.